It is Sunday, October 23rd, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Sunday puzzle today, so we're going to be solving a large grid, and we'll see if I can get through this in a reasonable amount of time. I don't have a huge amount of time to spare, so um, hopefully it won't be too bad, but it is a Sunday puzzle, so I do have to live with that reality. And uh, this particular reality has been brought to us by David Innes, Josh Lucas, and as always, the inestimable hood monster, the invaluable Timothy Mark, and the indomitable Shoalmaster. Uh, thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support bringing us this series and supporting this channel. I do very much appreciate it. So thank you to them. And uh, if you'd like to become a benefactor and get the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug, you can find that at patreon.com slash daily solve or in the link in the description field underneath the video. And thank you to everybody who has backed the Patreon campaign at any level. Of course, I do very much appreciate that as well. So thank you if you have, if you have done so. And, um, uh, for that, you get access to all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week, such as this week's um, New York Times mini crossword speed solve for the past week and the most recent Boss Words uh, Fall Themeless League competition puzzle. So you can enjoy all of that in the in the link. And you can also find a link to the Daily Solve Discord chat server. Nice, friendly community of people solving the New York Times crossword every day, the Wordle, other crosswords, the, all that, the crossword construction, all that sort of thing. All right, so let's let's get on to the puzzle. This is a Sunday crossword, a large themed grid, and it was constructed by Daniel Bodley and Jeff Chen. Daniel Bodley, a small handful of puzzles to his name, and Jeff Chen, well over a hundred, and one of the, one of the most experienced New York Times crossword constructors. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's see what we have in store for us today. We'll start solving. Shops. Um. It could be a verb or a noun, but either way, it probably ends with an S. CAPTCHA confirmation. Is it, I am not a robot? <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. Uh, let's see. Instrument for arachne in mythology. Um, arachne was turned into a spider. Did I say weapon or did I say instrument? Sorry, I feel as though my memory is, I, I, I don't know what, I think it would be the loom because she she wove and that was sort of related to her being turned into a spider weaving webs. But I think when I read this, I don't know what I said out loud, but in my head, I thought weapon. That's incredibly weird. Sorry, I don't know what that was all about, <laughs> uh, but I'm pretty sure the answer is loom. Anyway, I'll blank it. Um... I'll allow it, right, like a, you always see judges saying that in courtroom dramas, I'll allow it, that sort of thing, when when an attorney wants to get, I don't know, propose something. Hold the rocks at a bar, no ice, so no rocks, you want your drink neat. Blows one's horn toots, I suppose, shops, ants. What does that mean? Symbol, maybe that's wrong, symbol of bravery. Honks, A-N-H. Boasts, no, it would need an S. Well, let's look at this. White Terrier informally. Is that a Westie? Um, it might be. I suspect that's a dog breed. But let's let's see if we can get some crosses around here and make that seem particularly uh, correct. Armed force at sea, question mark, an octopus, right? Not an armed force, not a force uh, armed with weapons, but rather... A force with many arms, an octopus. Um, okay, symbol of bravery is a lion. Lion is often um, metaphorically used to symbolize bravery. So it is toots. Ants. I wonder if this is... This must be thematic in some way. Shops, ants. I don't quite understand it. Oh, although maybe not. Oh, it is, it is anti. This is I'm not a robot. It's not I am not a robot. It's just I'm not a robot. <laughs> CAPTCHA confirmation. So a CAPTCHA um, is that thing you have to do. Sometimes it's a challenge you have to fill out, and sometimes it's just a box you have to check to prove to a website that you aren't some kind of automated uh, program accessing the website for, I don't know, undesirable or illicit uh, motivations. Uh, anyway. Shops, ante, 
Right. I think this must be related to the theme, but I, I don't quite understand in what way yet. Rice dish, rice pilaf, pilaf, as you can say here in the UK more frequently. And blank tor- toy barn, where Emperor Zerg chases Buzz Lightyear. I mean, it must be Al's toy barn, just based on these this cross here. So that'll be from the film Toy Story, or one of the sequels, I'm not sure. Adds to a playlist, e.g. Adds to a playlist. What do you do when you add something to the playlist? You cue it up? That's probably it. Uh, pedaling. Hmm, I wonder if... Sh- so shops and pedaling have similar meanings because they both deal with buying things. I mean, if you pedal your wares, you, you're you selling your wares. So I wonder if this will also be something that doesn't quite fit. Well, it doesn't seem to fit, and I'll have to determine how later because of the theme. Let's let's keep going. Natural instincts are urges. Boy, I'm four minutes in, and I'm almost nowhere. I need to speed this up. Sites in a funeral home. Sites in a funeral home. Urns uh, in which uh, remain, remains, ashes are stored. I in the Aeneid. It would be ego, presumably. Um, nephew of Abel. Enoch, that was that was one of the Genesis people in the uh, biblical book of Genesis. Um, partition sectioned. Hmm. This looks like quest, maybe. Product launches made during sporting events. Oh, t-shirts, right? <laughs> Sometimes people will throw t-shirts or even launch them with a t-shirt gun of some sort, t-shirt catapult or something. Um, during sporting events, for instance. So there we go. That's what that is. And the question mark indicates that we're doing, we're treating this in a punny sort of way, which we are here. Okay. Person of the Year magazine. That's Time magazine, which publishes its Person of the Year issue once a year, as you'd expect. Uh, Sound of Sheer Terror. Is Does this mean a sheep afraid of being sheared? So it's making the ma ma sound. I think that's probably what's going on. The sheep is terrified of being sheared. Although this, what is this? Historic. I'm not crazy about sectioned. I don't, you could say an orange is sectioned. It's partitioned. It's, is there something better than that I could put here? Sec. Historic. I don't know. Maybe ma is wrong. I'm pretty sure t-shirts is correct. I in the Iliad. Oh, is it iota? Um, because we're referring to the letter I. What was this? All right. I think that's probably the case. Um, Greek letter I. And then ego would be the concept of, of I. Um, so, okay. So this still that still sort of looks like sectioned. Epoch when the Mediterranean Sea nearly dried up. Oh, interesting. Would it be the something age? Um, racket. Oh, maybe not. A racket could be a din, a sound. Uh, but I'm not certain. Here. Oops. And disposal. Dump or something? Um, I don't know. I'm gonna might delete din. I'm not sure. Let's let's look over here. We have we do have some crosses. Lower backbones. Thora is it related to the thorax? Not actually certain about that. Standoffish, aloof. There we go. That's straightforward enough. Waste is. Mm, I'm not sure either. And the a and a d anno anno domini. There we go. Um as in years, A.D., or, you know, often also referred to as common era, C.E. It's a long story. A saga is a long story. Does that help with this? Waste. The problem is, I, any of these, I feel, could be these ambiguous theme answers. He's, he's sort of mechanic I don't yet understand. So lower backbones. Oh, no, never mind. So I don't, I don't know what this is. Um, hmm. No, I'm not sure. Fourth man to walk on the moon. Alan. Oh, boy. I know this name, but I just can't think. 
waste. Yeah, this must be something else. What about this? Gain exclusive control business-wise. Um... Something about acquiring, gain exclusive control business-wise, become the, become the sole shareholder. Um, oh, I'm just not sure. Maybe I'll delete Alan for now. Okay, read or read. Got? Got something? You read it? I'm not really sure if that's right. Okay. What do we do? Let's let's keep going through the, the puzzle. Collectibles. Something ends with an S. Real. A kitchen might have a good one. Lots of different things. There must be something about the word good that is meaningful here. In other words, you wouldn't probably just wouldn't say a stove. A kitchen might have a good stove because a good stove isn't, I don't know, there's something that's really, that's not interesting enough, I don't think, to justify good. Having over-exercised, maybe. You could be sore or achy, either one, either one of those. Like Superman, but not Spider-Man. Um, well, Superman is an alien, right? So that could be it. He could be alien. What else? He, wear a ca he wears a cape? I don't know. African animal that may be spotted or striped. Um, boy, this is, I'm finding this a tough puzzle so far. Blank gun, alien zapper, a ray gun. So, hyena? Hyena. That would have a, a Y there. That looks good. So this looks like that. that's achy. Oh, so a kitchen might have a good aroma. And Superman is caped. Look at that. Okay, great. So we figured that those out at least. When the lighting of the Olympic cauldron happens, the opening ceremony. There we go. That's a nice long one to get. Wolf to a shepherd could be a menace. A wolf would be a menace to a shepherd. A penny saved is a penny earned and others. Those are uh, adages. So common sayings with some sort of simple homespun wisdom um, embedded within them. And then when said three times, get off my case, right? So you could say nag, nag, nag to, you know, implying you are always nagging at me. Okay. If you're upset, oh, I bet this is one of these. Hmm, not sure. Low scoring Yahtzee category ones, I guess. I don't actually, I mean, I've probably played Yahtzee once or twice in my life, but I don't really re remember anything about it. Um, I'm, but it, but it, I know it involves dice rolling, so that's why I'm wondering. It's probably ones. Like Thor would be Norse. Oops. And then upset is nice. Right. Okay. I still just do not understand <laughs> what's going on with these. Okay. Lionel Messi's homeland. Argentina. Clearly. Don't know if I would have been able to pull that out of my, <laughs> out of my hat without the crosses, but with them, it, I, I mean, it would have been somewhere in South America, so... Okay, a charismatic person has one. Charismatic person has a what? An allure, an attraction, a sort of charm, I'm not sure. Capital on the Arabian Peninsula, Muscat. Uh, there we go. Another uh, world capital after yesterday's Addis Ababa. Some barbecue flavored fast food sandwiches. Oh, McRibs. <laughs> The uh, notorious McRib the sandwich that McDonald's reintroduces for temporary periods once every several years, seemingly. And people on the internet get very excited about it. Things believers believe. Creeds. Um, you, know, you could have a religious creed or some other moral creed. Okay, totals. Adds up to, maybe? And letters near a conveyor belt. Letters near a conveyor belt. Oh, TSA, the, at, at an airport. So you could have the transport security agency. They um, would put your belongings through a conveyor belt to scan them. Okay. So NIH standards. So that'll be the National Institute of Health, I suppose. And this will be RDA recommended daily allowances for, for food, nutrition, that sort of thing. Oh, here we go. 23 answers in today's puzzle that don't seem to match their clues. Right. 23 of those. Wow. Okay. 
oh, I don't know. Is that going to be, is that the only thing we have <laughs> explaining this theme to us? I don't know what to do with that. One time radio host Don, Don Imus, I remember, was very controversial when I was growing up. Okay, in the public, if one is in the public eye, one is seen. And generator, this feels like another one of these theme clues. Al dente, pasta specification, is when you um, don't quite cook the, the pasta to its full, you know, softness, and you get a bit of that bite still. It's very nice. Device providing oversight. I'm not sure. How Usher wants to take it in a 1998 number one hit. I don't know. I mean, I'll, I might recognize this when I see it, but I, I can't think off the top of my head. Synthetic fiber. Rayon, maybe? That's a synthetic fiber. It might be the answer. Let's check the crosses. Oh, it's this again. Device providing oversight. This doesn't feel like one of the theme clues to me because, well, one, it's not, it's not a cross, which I think all the ones I've seen so far have been. And also it's punny. It's got the question mark, which makes me think it's it's not part of that, whatever's going on with the theme. Device proof, because none of the others have been. Device providing oversight. Oversight. I'll be annoyed when I get that, because I'll be annoyed that I didn't get it earlier. Sweetie Pie. It could be Hun or something, a pet name, that sort of thing. Probably other options for that. So let's just check this. Get over it. A hurdle? Literally jump over a hurdle? Get off birth control. So question mark, birth here is spelled in such a way that it looks like it refers to the birth of a ship or something. Birth control to un something. Oh, a drone provides oversight. It, right, I see. It's, it's, in, it's in the air, so it gets a sort of bird's eye view, potentially, if it's equipped with a camera. Okay, and what about this? Revitalize. And let me repeat. I said... I said revitalize. What is that? Don't know. Italian automaker. Fiat is a, is a major Italian automaker, owns other um, brands, uh, other makes. Rough rug fiber. Sizal is is a rug fiber. I think it's on the it's on the rough side, I would say. Uh, Dunderhead could be an ass. And decorating could be taste. I can't tell if that doesn't, it's not really, taste wouldn't really be defined by decorating, which makes me think maybe it's just not defined by the clue at all. And maybe it's, it could be another word entirely like haste or anything else. Hardly genteel. Actually, yeah, maybe it is haste because this looks like an adjective. So it could end in H. Like boorish, for instance. Boorish would be hardly genteel. Does that work? Xmas for Justin Trudeau. Christmas for Justin Trudeau. Um, is this, what does this mean? Sorry. I'm not sure I understand. So Justin Trudeau. So is this a Canadian, this what Christmas in Canada or something? Don't quite get that. I'm going to delete boorish because maybe that's wrong. Maybe Noel. I mean, because it's sort of French. I don't quite, don't know. Okay. Actress Catherine, who starred as Kevin's mom in Home Alone. That would be Catherine. Catherine, what, why can't I type this? Catherine O'Hara. There we go. Great comic actress. And red or white wood? I don't know. Does balsa come in those? I'm not sure. Not really sure. Get off birth control. Unload, maybe? Is it as simple as that? You unload it from a ship, perhaps? What about this? Revitalize. Freshen. There we go. I don't think this is unload. Um, unmoor, maybe. Unmoor. That, oh, maybe, although this, no, 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 it's not. <laughs> Undock, it's similar to Unmore. Just trying things again and again. Prepared to pray, say knelt. There we go. That's that's what I want. Prepared to pray is knelt down, and then that gives us, get off birth control, is undock. And red or white, oh, cedar, right. Okay, cedar cedar wood can be red. That's, that's true. And white, I guess. So put cargo on laid. Okay, there we go. So um, the opposite of my unload from earlier. And then unwritten, say you could have um, unwritten law, oral uh, law, I don't know, tradition, oral tradition. Okay, a guru. Oh, I bet this is another theme thing. So, oh, this looks like and slow. So guru is wart, right? So that certainly doesn't relate. 
to the theme, I don't think. This looks like haste. I can almost just assume it's haste and put it in. Country with more than 100 active volcanoes. Oh, interesting. But but let's go finish this off because we're almost done. Um, how Usher wants to take it in a 1998 number one hit. Oh, nice and nice and slow, surely. Okay, there we go. So generator cope, you don't know what that is. 23 answers in today's puzzle that don't seem to match their clues. N-E-S, what on earth does that have to do with anything? I don't understand. <laughs> I just don't understand. <laughs> oh, weird. Speaking of understanding, I, that was strange. Anyway, I suspect this is another one of those. Okay, word with nursing or training. Oops, sorry. Um, I would imagine this is not one of these theme things because it's giving us more than one word, but that might be wrong. I don't know. What about this? Looks like aura. Yes, a charismatic person has an aura. Okay, there we go. Word with nursing or training. Oh, nursing bra or training bra. There we go. Okay, so that aura was helpful. And Blank Mary, Bloody Mary, the sort of legendary figure in the mirror, I suppose. You summon her by saying her name into a mirror. I think that's it. Um, or maybe it's not mirror. Maybe the mirror is just Candyman. I don't know from that film. Anyway, understand don't, doesn't look like it's part of the clue. Head in slang could be... Your gob, like gobsmacked, but that's that's like that's your mouth more than your, not so much your head. Is it knob? I think it's probably knob. Makes beloved n. That would be Eli, which looks like a word that would fit there, even though it doesn't fit the clue, at least not in a way I understand. So makes beloved endears. Does that work? Pattern. This could just be another. The problem is there's so many of these. How, how would I mark them? I'm not really sure. Maybe I could do, I could do them in pencil, I guess, but then I'd have to go back and rewrite them all in. So maybe I won't. 1998 film, Waking, uh, Waking Ned Divine. I never saw this, but I sort of remembered existing. Um, and then Xmas for Justin Trudeau. Something Day, C Day? I don't, I don't, I don't quite understand what this is doing. What about this? D-worthy. Fair? Um, as in a grade of D? I mean, I don't really think I would consider D a fair grade. Um, fail? Oh, poor. You did poorly on the test, of course. Oh, Indonesia is the country with more than 100 active volcanoes. There we go. Okay. So actors are... Number listed in on the inside of car doors often. Oh, I would have thought this was the VIN, the VIN, the vehicle identification number. So, is there any way this could be something else? No, I don't think so. I thought this number was. I thought the VIN was listed on the inside of car doors often. Maybe there's something else that's listed there. I don't know what that is. Actors. And apt rhyme for pyre. Well, it's fire because a pyre is a fire. <laughs> so it's an apt rhyme, in, rhyme indeed. So what is this? The problem is I don't think this is going to be one of the theme things. So I'm going to have to know what this is. What a, and I think this, this one might be a theme answer, which is worrisome because that means it's not going to give me this cross yet. Hardly genteel. Oh, maybe it is boorish. Oh, was Justin Trudeau born on Christmas? Okay, I didn't know that. Oh, there we go. That must be the answer. So it is boorish, I guess. And, oh, maybe it's PSI. Maybe it's the um, pound square inch, so the pressure to which you are meant to inflate the tires on this vehicle. I bet that's what that is. And then this would be sons, actors, sons, yeah. I, I think that must be thematic. Don't quite understand it. So stocking stuffers are feet, right? Okay, of course. <laughs> Put feet in stockings. Home... Last O in YOLO, you only live once, as they say. Safe harbor, a haven or 
um, what would end in E? I don't know. Tape player of a sort in brief. Um, not sure about that either. Popular Korean minivan. I bet if it's Korean, it'll be a Kia. I mean, Hyundai is also a Korean brand, but the thing is you put that in and you've basically filled the whole clue. So I think it's probably Kia, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Dazzling. Purplish blue. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm not confident enough about Kia. Oh, no, no, never mind. Thought I had an idea, but I didn't. Thief's Hall loot, maybe? Oh, that wouldn't work with that wouldn't work with Kia. Maybe it's not. Right. Okay, I don't know. Let's keep looking around with loot and see. Verizon for one. No, okay, it's not loot, sorry. Because Verizon for one is a telecom, a um, telecommunications company. So um, this will be something else. So look, let's put Kia back in. Thieves Hall take, right. Thieves could be thieves could be discussing their take from a, a from a, a job, I guess. Okay, well, that doesn't help me with the minivan, but it makes it more likely that Kia at least is correct. City east of Phoenix. Phoenix, Arizona, and there's Mesa, Arizona is a city in Arizona, so that could be it. Sixteen hundred for the SAT informally. The the maximum score, I guess. And crossed out is X, I suppose. Four is Why don't, why don't I see what that is? Maybe it's, maybe it's thematic. Arctic coats. Oh, parkas, maybe. You wear, you wear a parka in the cold Arctic. Four. I can't tell if I think this is thematic or not. This looks like maybe Kia Sedona. I think I've maybe heard of that. Does that work? Safe harbor. A cove. Right, a cove. Okay. And then tape player of a sort. Oh, a VCR. Right, a video cassette tape player. That was sort of redundant what I just said, but <laughs> uh, home mart. Right, yeah. So I'm still not really sure what's going on there. Um, that's clearly one of the themes. Uh, theme clues. Okay, well I think this is all correct. So purplish blue. I iris. I. Hmm. Why don't I see what that is? Dazzling and Calvin and Hobbes, a pair? Is it as simple as that? Calvin and Hobbes, I mean, comic strip, they were named after philosophers, so it could be philosophers. Um, but, you know, I think most people when they hear Calvin and Hobbes paired in that way would think of the comic strip duo. Um, how perjurers might be caught. They might be caught in a lie. That's good. That That's helpful. So this looks like maybe Kale. This does look like maybe iris. Is that the color of iris, the iris flower? I mean, yeah, an iris would be purplish blue, I suppose. I don't know that I know of iris as a color, but maybe it is. Two children's book series akin, akin to Where's Waldo? Don't know. Um, female nature deities. Oh, maybe this isn't pear because I would want this to end with S or maybe a sort of A-E or something, but, but probably not R if it's plural. Female nature deities. Nymphs or something? Sylvans, dryads? Calvin and... Oh, they're pals. Calvin and Hobbes are, are pals in the comic strip. There we go. Two. Okay, this doesn't look right. I, nymphs could be wrong. Locations. Yeah, I don't know. How many UN members have names starting with W? Well, now now that I've said that, I want to put I want to put the N back in because I wonder if it's nine. Could be four. Could be five. Could be um, four, five, nine. I think that's I think those are the only options. But but that does make me want to see if I can make nymphs work. Two. Was this correct? Yeah, how perjurers might be caught in a lie. That 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 must be right. Oh boy, I'm I'm really not making progress right now, am I? Like difficult water for boating. Shallow or um rough? Don't know, maybe that's wrong. 
big Froyo franchiser. So frozen yogurt. Oh, that's funny. If that was in, that was in something I solved recently. I can't remember if it was one of the boss words puzzle on Patreon or something else, but um, maybe it was in New York Times the other day. TCBY is a frozen yogurt chain in the US. And then go lightly with a long bob along maybe in a boat. Hockey. Not sure. You'll have to pull some strings to play this. You'll have to pull some strings to play this. Um, this, the way this is phrased makes me think it's not one of the thematic clues, but I'm not certain about that, obviously. Real. They can help you get out of jams. And stellar. Wow or something? Was everything in the top row... No, not everything in the top row was thematic because aroma was straightforward. A kitchen might have a good aroma. Word on the street, perhaps. Rep, reputation, or word on the street. Does it mean literally a word? Word on the street, I'm not sure. Uh, Chiwere speaking tribe. Is it the Cree? They've come up recently. Could be the Oto. Um... Oh, one-eyed war god, Odin. So maybe it is the Oto. Um, stellar, rad. That's a much better match for Stellar. That's sort of 80s slang. I guess rad sort of came back. Stellar, I don't really think so much did. Collectibles. Orbs? I don't really know. Word on the street, perhaps. Yeah, I'm still not quite sure about this one. What about this real, sincere? Your feelings are real. Your feelings are sincere. Hockey. Is it Oreo? <laughs> Does it look like a hockey puck? I don't know if that's anything. It might just be thematic and unrelated, uh, but it could be Oreo. You'll have to pull some strings to play this. Why can't I see what this is? That's so frustrating. Um... Like difficult water for boating. So, right. So rough. No, it doesn't, it's too long. Just mistyped it. Um, rough waters, cur, waters with current, choppy waters. Choppy would fit. An herb? Could be, it could just be a theme thing. Oh, no, no, it could be harp. Harp. You have to pull some strings to play a harp and then you bop along. Right. I shouldn't have gone it right in there with Bob. That was silly. That was presumptuous. So this looks like Cleo, maybe. Does that look like anything if I put it in? They can help you out of jams. I'm not sure about what that is. Maybe this, yeah, I shouldn't put that in. Oh, how many UN members have names starting with W? Is it really none? I didn't think of that. Oh, wow. That's a, I would have assumed, is there no country starting with West? I guess not. Wow, that was an amazing, <laughs> amazing bit of misdirection that it that it's so close to nine. That's that's amazing. I didn't even consider it with the end. That was that was great. I really enjoy that. Promotional overkill hype and locations. I don't know. This could be thematic. They can help you get out of jams. Okay, well this probably ends with an S. And. If this, if this, oh, right, exit lanes. They help you get out of traffic jams because you, you get off of the motorway. You leave, you leave, um, exit. Okay, so word on the street, perhaps, taxi. Oh, right, because you would, yeah, yeah, I see. Just try and catch a cab by shouting taxi, taxi. I think that's what that means. Collectibles, ores, I think that's thematic. Locations, I think this is probably also thematic. And what about this? Children's book series akin to Where's Waldo? This, I, I think, looking at these, this fill, I don't have it at all. I mean, it could be Impy, maybe. Oh, no, I Spy. Right. Okay, I Spy. I have heard of that, actually. Uh, or maybe I've just heard of the game that you, this sort of informal game you play, and, and that's what I'm thinking of. I don't know. In any case, probably the answer. Get a move on. Hustles. Hustles, you might say. Get a move on. And so, locations, umps. Right. Okay. Um... I don't know. Uh, that must be thematic. I just do not see what's going on there. That is, 
I have to say, it's starting to worry me because we're getting somewhere close to the end of the puzzle, and yet I still don't seem to have any idea. Okay, um, so what else do we do? Uh, there are probably clues we've not even seen yet, actually. Uh, the P of EPS ratio on Wall Street, that would be um, earnings per share, so P would be per... And the 76ers on scoreboards, ooh, I'm not sure about that. That'll be a sports team, obviously, but I'm not sure. Um, gain exclusive, cons this one I'm annoyed that I can't seem to see. It's such a long phrase, you'd think it would be, it would sort of announce itself. Gain exclusive control business-wise. Owner, this could be owner, but then what would the first letter B. That doesn't make any sense. Go. Not crazy about that. Command. Ah, don't just don't say it. Mad figure of fiction. The Mad Hatter in uh, Lewis Carroll's Through the Looking Glass or Alice in Wonderland. So 76 is, oh, Philadelphia. That must have something to do with 17, the, found, the, the Declaration of Independence year, 1776. So given Philadelphia's involvement there. So like some care services, not sure about that. Fourth man to walk on the moon. Alan, why can I not bring this to mind? This is infuriating. Um, like some care services, headset. Disaster response organization, FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management agency, I think, uh, in the U.S., like some care services. And adverb repeated in the Star Wars prologue, far, um, in a galaxy far, far away. Um, a long, long time ago. Um, online pop-up generator is adware, maybe? Um, that would seem plausible. Disposal. Could be thematic. Racket, right? It is a den. That was my first thought. Or I, I mean, it seems like it is. Here, I don't know. That could be thematic as well. Not sure. More wary, something here. Leerier, maybe? No, that doesn't fit. Epoch when the Mediterranean Sea nearly dried up. Um, not sure. Don't know. Wish I did. Um, okay, what do we do here? Uh oh, so now we've, we have a completely partitioned, sectioned off section of the grid here, which is not, not very encouraging. Partition, this really does look like section, doesn't it? Maybe, maybe this is thematic and I just need to move on. Downsides, cons, right, okay, that was correct, I think. Whiz could be an ace. I never, I never looked at that clue, I don't think. Oh, more wary, cagier, yes, there we go. And disposal looks like it's thematic. Could be aged, maybe. Oh, the something in age. The oh boy. So what was this here? We okay. So just another another thing. Um, Miocene. first thing that came into my head was Niocene, but I think I'm confusing that with, I'm, I think I'm just thinking of the word Nicene as in the Nicene Creed, and I don't think that's something, I don't think that's anything here. Miocene, Mira, there must be a way, there must be a way to get these. It has to mean something. If this were M, what does this N-E-S mean? 23 answers in today's puzzle that don't seem to match their clues. I just don't understand what this is. So the thing that comes to mind to me first is that shops and peddling are sort of connected with one another. Oh, oh my goodness. That was exactly the right thing to look at. Shops peddling collectibles, antique stores. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm very sorry if 
Many of you have been yelling through your screens at me for absolutely ages to see this. Oh my goodness, what a relief. Okay, antique stores is what that is. Okay, great. So what what was the next one of these? How am I going to remember where these all were? Um, right, okay. M- Miracle on Ice. Historic hockey upset. The Miracle on Ice. Yes, okay. There we go. So, no, these were all real. These were real. These were not real. Age dump screed? Is that something? No, garbage dumps. Garbage dumps. Waste disposal locations. There we go. It's all happening. It's all happening, everyone. (laughs) This is, oh, what a relief. Okay. Oh, here, this is, this is thematic. Read here to understand (laughs) 23 answers in today's puzzle that don't seem to match their clues. What? That's incredible. That's absolutely amazing. Oh, the the fact that it ended up with that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, So, um, between the lines, between the lines, bet we and Eli NES, between the lines is how we uh, read here. Yes. Read between the lines. Oh my goodness. That's absolutely brilliant. I love this. Okay. Oh, it took, and it only took me 40 minutes <laughs> to understand. So what next? This was, a, yeah, this was one. Um, kaleidoscope, a dazzling pattern generator. There we go. Very good. And um, I think this is, this is ordinary. Um, yeah, this, these are regular. Okay, initialism aptly found in timetable. Oh, I haven't seen this yet. So ETA. Oh, I keep hitting my microphone. I'm sorry. I hope that's not coming through. I'll try and I'll try and remember to edit it out of the recording. Okay, initialism aptly found in timetable ETA estimated time of arrival. So uh, these are all normal. Um, tip top. Oh no, these are these are normal. Four. These are not normal. These are not. Um, classes for actors. Oh, no, no, no. It's just classes for actors. Okay, so drama lessons. So dr- here we have a dram. You could have a, a wee dram of whiskey, but not in this clue. Uh, so drama drama lessons. There we go. And crossed out X after and for pi. Okay, these are normal. Safe Harbor, that's normal. That's normal. Last O and YOLO, those are normal. What about this? These are not. So we have home decorating guru. Martha Stewart. Oh, wow. (laughs) What a funny conclusion to the puzzle. We're ending on Martha Stewart. All right, great. Well, now that I've spent a few minutes figuring all that out, I'm very relieved to have done so. Let's go back through the puzzle. So headset, a totem, maybe a totem pole with sort of carved heads stacked. Like some care services. At home? Uh, In home? Oh, PHI for Philadelphia, not PHL. Okay, in home care services. Alan Bean, fourth man. Okay, great. I was wondering about this because this, when I had this L here, I thought, well, it couldn't be, couldn't be Bean because that L doesn't work. I should have, should have thought about the error being elsewhere. Lower backbones, uh, the sacra, sacra, gain exclusive control business-wise, corner the market. Oh, right. I was exclusively thinking about this with respect to gaining control of a single business, a single company, but no, it means over an entire market segment. Okay, tip top is the acme, the top of something. Tarnish, e.g. could be to mar someone's reputation or something physically. Website overseers are admins, administrators. Brain cases are crania, um, your cranium, plural. Finalized as a contract is inked. She might cry uncle, a niece might cry uncle, I suppose. Uh, not Not in the sense of giving, asking you to give away, but, but to, in recognition, didn't make public for a while, sat on something, which makes eco mode, fuel saving feature in newer cars, seems plausible. And an idyllic spot often referred to as an Eden in a reference to uh, Genesis, just like Enoch earlier. And there we go. That was the Sunday puzzle. All right. And what a, what a thematic workout that was. That really took me ages. So 
we had the antique stores, the shops peddling collectibles. We had um, the Miracle on Ice, the historic hockey upset. We had, what else did we have? Garbage dumps here. We had waste disposal locations. And um, our, our revealer, of course, our incredibly, <laughs> our incredibly funny revealer between the lines, which is uh, what you read here to understand 23 puzzle <laughs> answers in today's puzzle that doesn't seem to match their clues. This being this, this full sentence length clue was just an amazing comedy beat for me. Um, stumbling upon that. I really, I really enjoyed it. Hello, it's me. I'm just popping back in with a, a postscript here. Um, I realized right as I turned off the recording that on the crossword, we actually literally have lines dividing up the grid and we're reading in between them. So we're, we're literally reading in between these black lines. So I was sort of taking that between the lines in a general sense, but it's actually literally illustrated in the, the uh, grid as well. So anyway, I just wanted to point out one more quite clever element of this theme by Daniel Bodley and Jeff Chen. So well done to them. I really enjoyed it. All right, back to me. Drama lessons, right? Where our classes for actors. And finally... Uh, Martha Stewart, right? our home decorating guru. Sorry if I missed any of these, but I think those were those those were the ones. And there we go. Very clever Sunday puzzle. Really good. That I can imagine being utterly baffling to um, many people, as it was for me for a good solid forty minutes, as you as you saw. So <laughs> let me know. Let me know if you were similarly confused. And now let's quickly just read a few clues from yesterday's puzzle, and then we will wrap this video up. So what did we have? We had um, Andrew Post, uh, Postnikoff explains that Canadian postal codes are alphanumeric like the British ones are. Most notably is that the provinces have specific starting letters. The largest me metropolitan areas also have their own. Uh, and so that's where we get Santa's H0H0H0. Uh, H0, H0, H0. Um, H is actually the Montreal area, which is near, not near the North Pole. However, HOH only has the one postal code in it, the reserved one in question for Santa Claus. So thank you, Andrew Postnikoff, for that investigation. Uh, Philip McGovern points out that I missed the answer cow for the clue bully, but not a bull, which Philip says I thought was a very clever clue. That is very clever. So bully to cow somebody to intimidate them, to bully them. And of course, in that meaning, we're not referring to a bull, which would be a, a male bovine animal, uh, as opposed to a cow. And then quite clearly says, also from Miriam Webster, a stabile, an abstract sculpture or construction similar in appearance to a mobile, but made to be stationary. So exactly what I suspected it might be, but wasn't certain. So thank you for looking into that. And that's all I have. So thank you so much for joining me um, for this long Sunday solve. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I did. I really, <laughs> one of my most satisfying, one of the most satisfying moments I can remember landing on a theme, really enjoyed that. So anyway, I'll be back tomorrow for the much simpler, much quicker, much smaller grid of the Monday crossword. And I hope you join me then. But until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Monday, Sunday. <laughs> please do enjoy the remainder of your Sunday. Take care. Mm -hmm.